Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsports. And today was the Chinese Grand Prix. In fact, it was earlier this morning. The first Chinese Grand Prix for five years. In fact, it has been so long. This is the first ever Chinese Grand Prix I have reviewed on this channel in its five year history. And it was a decent race. I enjoyed it. In fact, actually, I'd call it a decent weekend. I, I Obviously, I still don't like sprint races. That hasn't changed. The reasons I don't like the sprint races are the same as they have been every time they've had a sprint race. Unnecessary. Gets in the way of actual racing. Don't really like it. But the actual main race itself was pretty good. There was some good battling. There were long periods where there was not a lot of overtaking. In fact, at the front of the field, very, very little actually happened. Verstappen once again dominated the race, which is not really a surprise at this point. And behind him, Lando Norris, fantastic performance in the McLaren. Very, very proud of him right now. He is doing such a fantastic job again this season. Leclerc and Sainz behind him, fine. Perez and as well in third. And then you got George Russell in sixth. It's a pretty good performance for him. It's about the level Mercedes are right now. He's outscored his teammate again. Alonso, strange strategy, but he at least got something out of it. It wasn't a total disaster. Piastri held off Hamilton with whilst carrying damage. So not a perfect result for the Australian, but it's still decent. Hamilton, ninth, was probably the best he could hope for, having started 19th. In fact, I'd almost call this a good drive from him. But it's uh, it was strange how he was able to get second on the sprint race and then main race bit harder he got stuck behind traffic I think traffic was a big problem for him obviously starting in 19 he didn't really make up the places as quickly as I thought maybe it was a tire strategy he did struggle at the start so it was a tough race for Hamilton and he's probably lucky to get two points and a point for Hulkenberg as well which is a good result for Haas these days the craziness in this race it wasn't too bad at the start in fact actually I'd say this so far this season, everyone has been driving very, very sensibly. We've had very few big incidents. I know Albon and Ricardo had a crash at Japan. George Russell in Australia. There's been the odd spin here or there. Williams actually have been the worst hit by crashes, I suppose. But there's not really been any, like, what I would call stupid driving. But today, at this Chinese Grand Prix, it did seemed like everyone was either a bit jet lagged or they didn't have their sensible heads on and it started with Bottas breaking down and bringing out the safety car the first safety car it was just everyone getting a bit congested at the hairpin on the restart and you saw it first with Ricardo went into the back of Piastri very gently in fact I think when Stroll went into the back of Ricardo he pushed him into Piastri a bit more I think Ricardo was about to touch him anyway but Stroll hit Ricardo really hard. And honestly, it's a testament to how strong these cars are these days that Stroll's car didn't fall to pieces and he carried on and finished the race. But Ricardo did have to retire with a damaged diffuser, which, given how terrible his season has gone so far, that's a massive shame. He was actually doing pretty well. He was running in the points at the time. He did have to pit again. But you saw the pace of Lonzo. He might have got back up to 10th. We won't know now. And then Magnussen and Sonoda made contact. Not Sonoda's fault. Magnussen, again, not having the best year. But he made contact with Sonoda, spun him round out of the race. We got another safety car after that. Now, Stroll and Magnussen were entirely to blame for both those incidents. And honestly, there are two drivers I look at on the grid who I would say are the closest to being replaced, with the exception of maybe Logan Sargent, who I recently mixed up with Norwich. City forward Josh Sargent I think Logan Williams will probably look to replace regardless of what happens this year anyway but the likes of Magnussen and Stroll Stroll is there because his dad owns the team any other situation he would be gone Felipe Drogovic would be in that car Felipe Drogovic deserves to be in that car Felipe Drogovic would probably do a really good job in that car it's just a shame that Lance Stroll is driving that car. Magnussen, it was great when he came back. 
because obviously he expelled the demon Mazepin and everyone seemed to be happy that he came back and he put in some really good performances to start with but he has really tailed off he's not keeping up with Hulkenberg has have improved dramatically this year they've taken a massive step forward compared to last year and even though it's like just scoring the odd point here or there that's a massive step forward from last year but whereas Hulkenberg is putting in the qualifying performances and he's getting the odd point here or there Magnussen is sort of struggling behind him and I think Magnussen has got a point this year but he's not doing as well as Hulkenberg by quite a distance and Hulkenberg is hardly a star driver so if I was Haas I would be looking to replace Magnussen because there are a lot of great drivers in Formula 2 or drivers who have left Formula 2 and not had a drive and really deserve it honestly you could look at IndyCar, Formula E, Formula 2, Super Formula there are drivers who are incredibly capable in all of those series. World Endurance. You could pick almost anyone. And they could probably do a job. And honestly, if you're Ferrari, I'd be having words about putting Oliver Behrman back in that car because he was quality on his debut with Ferrari. And I think a bit of time spent at Haas to really get him up to speed. He wouldn't be a bad shout to be like Lewis Hamilton's understudy at Ferrari one day and take over the mantle of British Ferrari driver. Uh, I think... I know a lot of pressures on Perez as well. And honestly, finishing in third when that Red Bull is as quick as it is. It's not a great look for him and... He is also in danger of getting replaced. And honestly, if they go for Carlos Sainz, I know they've said that Audi are in a better position because they've got more money to throw at it. I think Red Bull should do everything they can to get Carlos Sainz because he is such a fantastic driver. And Ferrari are really throwing him away. Really unnecessarily. They did not need to sign Lewis Hamilton. They could have stuck with Sainz and Leclerc. And we'll have to see how results are next year. But I don't think there'd be much difference, to be honest. It's a shame... Science is getting turfed, but he could get a drive at Red Bull. It could all work out. Uh, as for this race, there's not really much else to say. Logan Sargent, I thought, drove really well in this one. Guan Yu Zhou, his first home race, he drove decently enough. I was actually quite impressed with some of the overtaking he pulled off. Not the one on Magnussen that damaged his front wing, but other moves he made. Shame he was outside the points, but again, it's about where stake Sauber are right now. Uh, Alonso, I thought, did a good job to get back in the points. I think Aston Martin put him in a really tough position, and he did a good job. Overall, it was a good Chinese Grand Prix. I enjoyed it. And it's a good track, I will say. I do like, especially the first sequence of corners. I do really like those corners. It tends to be quite a action-packed race at Shanghai. And it's sort of a unique looking track on the calendar, which is a stacked calendar. I think the next race is in a couple of weeks in Miami, which is obviously quite a big one as well. And I honestly, I think we're going to be in this run of Max Verstappen victories once again. It's just going to be a case of how many in a row can he get now. Because if you, if we get to the 24th race and Max Verstappen has won all of them since I you know he came he retired in Australia but since then if he won all the races for the remainder of 2024 I wouldn't be entirely surprised and um, I think we can pretty much crown him champion now I can't see anyone catching him or Red Bull so we're pretty much done with Formula 1 but there's still plenty of intrigue the Constructors Championship is honestly more interesting than the Drivers Championship Red Bull are running away with that as well, but Ferrari, McLaren, Aston Martin, can Mercedes pick up their pace and get back into that fight? That is quite interesting. And even like for last place, we've seen like Williams and Haas are usually the last teams, but RB, Stake, they're not doing amazing. Alpine are really struggling. So the whole field is in some kind of fight. And even though it's kind of divided into two right now, it is still quite entertaining. And I'm looking forward to the racing at the moment. I am really enjoying the Formula 1. The last, It didn't start great, but the last few Grand Prix I have really enjoyed. And, and I do look forward to Miami, which I've not really had a 
I don't think I've ever had a really exceptionally high feeling after a Miami Grand Prix about its quality, but I'm optimistic for this year. We'll see what happens. Uh, as for this weekend, there is a lot of motorsport on. Um, I've watched some of it, not all of it. I've still got the World Endurance Championship to watch at Imola. Um, IndyCar at Long Beach is recording right now, and I'm going to watch it straight after this. I've watched the first TCR World Tour race. I've still got the second one to watch. I've got Euro Cup 3, I think it was on this weekend. I've got to watch Brazil Stock Cup. There's so much. I'm catching it. I watched the IMSA at Long Beach. That was a good race. And that's free on their YouTube channel now, so you can go watch that. Yeah, but lots of great motorsport this weekend. And actually, the Formula 1 was a pretty good headline act for that. So with that, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Did you enjoy the Chinese Grand Prix? What are your thoughts on any of the drivers taking part? Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel. And most importantly of all, have a good one.